Hi everybody. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I, if you've been watching my videos, you know that uh, I've lost quite a bit of weight and I had to buy some new clothes because of it. I mean, good reason to go shopping. Uh, unfortunately, it just hurts my wallet. So I wanted to find some uh, cheap sundresses online. Cheap, hopefully not quality wise, but cheap price wise. So I checked out uh, a site called Shein. I had never ordered from them before, so I thought, well, you know what, let's get a couple sundresses uh, and see how it goes. So I placed an order back in April, the end of April. And when I, I had selected the two dresses that I wanted, um, I was filling out everything. And when it came to the address, I typed in my P.O. box because I don't have mail delivered to my home. I have mail delivered to uh, a P.O. box because um, I've lived at different addresses, uh, but I've had this P.O. box for 20 years. So that just stays a constant. So I typed in the address. I typed in uh, my P.O. box and a message popped up saying that they use a courier um and so they need an actual physical address so i thought okay great so i deleted the mailing address and i added my physical address so anyways it's all done i get a message saying that uh the courier that they're shipping through is dhl and that um because it's coming from another country i may have to pay some additional tariffs that sort of thing so you know no big deal um Thought, great um, I'll just wait for an email from DHL if I have to cover any additional charges that sort of thing so you know time goes by I'm waiting I'm waiting so three weeks go by still nothing so I, I give it a little longer uh, because at this point I hadn't received anything from DHL uh, and I hadn't received anything from Shein um, saying that there was an issue or uh, extra tariffs needed to be uh, or fees needed to be applied uh, because the clothing was crossing the border. So I just kind of figured, okay, well, maybe it's just running a little behind. It's a pandemic, there's shortages, you know, that sort of thing. Whatever, just be patient. So I hit the month mark and I'm like, all right, it's, it's, it's been a month. Um, so I go looking. I log into Shein, I check it out, and turns out the item has been shipped to me, sent back, shipped back to me, and is being sent back to the sender again. And I'm like, well, how can that be? I, I, I work from home now because of the pandemic, so uh, nobody's come to my door. DHL hasn't notified me in any way, shape, or form. So I go, you know, looking deeper, looking for more information, and uh, turns out that despite the uh, the email and the website and everything from Shein saying that it was going to be sent by DHL Courier, uh, it wasn't. They had switched it over to Canada Post. Canada Post doesn't deliver to my house address, they deliver to my P.O. box. So I attempted to contact Shein and uh, correct it. Um, I tried to update my address and apparently once an item is well labeled or, or the status is shipped um, you can't change the address so I thought okay well I'll cancel the order so uh, no they don't let you cancel it either and that's just it I'm just like all right you know what I really wanted the dresses though so I placed a new order and this time when I entered my mailing address, same message popped up that they use a courier. That is a lie. They do not use a courier, at least not for Southern Alberta. Just let you know, no courier. So this time what I did is I put in my physical address as address line one and then address line two is where I put my PO box. Again, place the order, same exact two dresses. I just repurchased them. And uh, again, got uh, an email from Shein and my confirmation, my order confirmation right on the screen said that it would be shipped by DHL. 
the email confirmation said it would be shipped by DHL. I may need to pay additional um, costs for tariffs, fees at the border, that sort of thing. Exact same message as the first time. But this time, two weeks later, I got my dresses through Canada Post, not Courier. So if you are looking at buying anything through Shein and you don't have things delivered to your actual physical house address, maybe you live on an acreage, maybe you're like me, you've moved around a bunch and you just go for a PO box. Don't be fooled by all their communications saying that they use a courier and the courier is DHL for your area. No, it's a lie. Don't believe them. That's fake. Use, type in your physical address so that way they'll buy it. And then when they ship over to Canada Post, make sure that you've secretly added in your, uh, your PO box number as your address line too. Oh, sorry, and before I go too far, just to let you know, that one package, I still can't cancel it. I still can't change the shipping address, and it has now gone back and forth between Canada and China uh, approximately six times. It's the middle of June, and this package was shipped out the end of April, and it six times, as far as I can tell, it has gone back and forth between the two countries. Like, that's insane. At this point, I mean, I'm kind of miffed because I'm out that money. And that was like with taxes and, and everything, it was about uh, $54, 5387 or something. But part of me is kind of curious because I'm just wondering, when are they going to cancel it themselves? Uh, because I'm thinking as a company, they can't afford to just keep shipping something out to another country. I mean, it's been two months. Is it going to be three months, four months? I wonder if it'll hit six months. I'm just kind of curious now to just see how long it goes before they actually contact me. And again, they have all my contact info. You think they would have contacted me after like the second time the parcel came back or I don't know, the first time the parcel came back just to verify the mailing address, but they didn't. I'm thinking it's going to hit the six month mark before they finally go. Okay. Maybe we should cancel this. Okay, so the dresses, um, I'm just curious as to what the fabric is. Fabric is, um, yeah, 97% polyester and 3% spandex. When I ordered these dresses, uh, I was checking out, out the size charts. And um, I am pyramid shaped. <laughs> I'm shaped like this. So I have a very wide base, let's call it, uh, and I'm narrow shouldered, smaller chest, um, small waist, but I am bulky at the bottom. So pear shape, spoon shape, pyramid girl, that's me. So pyramid. So when I was looking at dresses, um, if it fits on the bottom, generally on the top, it's falling off. If it fits on the top, generally it's too tight on the bottom. So what I did is I went for a style that's more flared. So it was just a certain point around the waist and then it flares out with what appears to be plenty of material for my pyramid base bottom. Okay, all right, so let's get to trying on. Okay, so as you saw, um, oh, get these out. So the blue one fits weird. Um, I didn't realize that it had some sort of funky, weird drop waist thing because it has elastic under the bust. Uh, and then I thought 
in the picture anyways, it showed that it kind of flared out from there, which is why I ordered it. However, instead there's this section here that just kind of goes straight down. Um, yeah. yeah, so it does not fit me right. It does not look good. And um, the pattern itself, yeah, you know what? Um, I don't like it. So I will be seeing if anybody wants this one. And if they don't, I will be donating it. Um, this one fit good. So as you saw, um, it's got the the Empire Waist again. It's got this little, you know, fake ties that do nothing. It's just decorative. Uh, and then flares out. So plenty of room uh, for the pyramid base. And uh, fit pretty good up top. This is very light. It, and uh, it's got a nice little sleeve on it, which is what I was looking for. Because Lord knows I am too pale to be left out in the sun for any length of time. So I go through a lot of sunblock and um, the sundresses that I do have tend to be spaghetti straps and I'm just coating myself all over. Uh, yeah, so if I have something with a little more coverage, cover a bit of the arms, then I'm only uh, you know, applying sunblock on my arm, my neck, my face, that sort of thing. And it's long enough, it goes uh, down pretty much to my ankle. So, um, yeah, I won't have to coat my legs in sunblock either. If I wear sandals, I will have to coat my feet in sunblock. I go through a lot of sunblock. I should actually look at getting stocks in sunblock. Eh. So this one I will be keeping. It's a little busy on me. I don't know if this pattern suits me. I don't know. You guys let me know. Comment down below if you thought the, uh, uh, if you thought the dress I'm keeping is pretty if you thought the pattern looked nice on me or if you think uh yeah it's a little busy for you you don't you don't seem to be a busy pattern girl anyways i hope you guys have had a wonderful week and i hope you stay safe and healthy and i will see you next week all right